Hey guys, how are you tonight? So we are going to be making a um, sympathy arrangement. I don't know if you can see me. But I'm going to look at, uh, get the tablet pulled up so I can see all your comments. I'm not on the Mevo tonight, so it's a little bit different. So bear with me. Hopefully I don't freeze up or anything. There we go. Let's go and see the comments. Hey guys. All right. Take this off. I can see your comments for some reason. Let's see, let's see your comments. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to get these comments pulled up so I can see who all is on. Hey, Donna. Hey, Natalie. How are you all tonight? So I was going to come on earlier to make this, but it got crazy. So, um, can you all hear me okay? Can you all hear me? Comment below and let me know you can hear me. Hey Beth. Can you all hear me okay? Sound good? Awesome. All right, so we have all kinds of fresh things that we're gonna do tonight, fresh flowers. So first we have myrtle. Then I have aspidistra leaves. We have some bear grass. Some beautiful yellow roses. We also have red roses. Isn't that gorgeous? We have some bells of Ireland. We have some white hypericum berries. And we have some white genestra, which is very beautiful. It does, it does shed a lot, but, but I'm going to start greening this up first. As y'all know, I like to green my items up first. So I'm going to design towards me and then I'll turn it around and show you guys. So I'm going to put my aspidistra leaves in first. Summer. So comment below and let us know where you're watching from. Hey Virginia. So this right here is what we have for now, but it'll look totally different once we start adding all the roses and all the good stuff. Let me find my clippers here. I don't know what the girls did with them. Um, they're back here. I'm on this tape. All right. So I'm going to start in the back with my height. I just 
stick all this in. So what I'm doing is I'm starting up here at the top and then I'm just going to work my way around. And you'll be able to see what I'm talking about once we get all of the um, greenery put in place. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So we've been moving new um, shelving in this afternoon. And I'm busy with tuxedos. Hey Denise, I'm, a, I'm in a different setting tonight. I'm out at the design area. Debra, hey Donna, how are you all tonight? If I didn't give a shout out, that means I didn't see your comment. They're showing you at the bottom and they disappear, so I'm not sure why they're doing that. Thanks, Virginia. Grace in Canada. Welcome. So tonight we're doing a fresh arrangement. I have been doing just um, artificial. So I wanted to come on and do a fresh. Which is... Aw, oh, thanks, Kim. It took me a while to get fast, I will tell you that, because um, I was very slow in the beginning. Very slow. But when you have 200 orders to get out at holiday time, you learn really quick to become really fast. Continuing all the way around. Julie, um, so we buy direct uh, most of the time. So we buy direct from the farm. So we're able to get a better price than, you know, going through another source. Um, but greens are just as expensive as flowers. Some greens are very expensive. It just depends on what greens it is. Especially like your tropical greens. So I'm self-taught. I've had no um, no training so to speak. Um, so I've been self-taught. So, as you can see, we've started up here and then I've worked my way around. So I've left an opening here. Isn't that gorgeous already? All right. So I'm going to go back in with some leather leaf, which I have right there. And this right here is a really nice green reach of feel. Feel in. So it's raining here, so how is everybody's weather? Thanks, Donna. 
How is everybody's weather where you're at? It's been raining here all evening. Again, I'm just going all the way around. Gap Mills. And if y'all hear like things kick on, it's the coolers actually. Because I'm at the design area and speak of it kicking on, they both kick on. Also have some uh, lemon leaf. I'm going to add. Into the arrangement. Raining in Canada. Hey Richard, how are you? So we're doing a fresh arrangement tonight. And I just like mixing all different types of greens. It just really adds to the arrangement. This really adds to it. So, I have one designer that designs with me right now. So that's one reason to be fast, so I can get everything done and out the door. So I'm just adding some bear grass. Hey Debbie, how are you tonight? So I'm not on the Mevo guys, I'm on my phone. So it may look a little different or sound a little different, but it's because I'm on my phone. I need to get another Mevo so I can actually do lives out here. Lana, if you're watching, do you want to sell that extra Mevo? <laughs> All right. Again, I like adding the bear grass. It just makes the arrangement more graceful. Gives the arrangement movement. Oh, Pam, thanks. That's awesome. Good to know. Oh, thanks, Grace. So, guys, the, the wreath that we made last night on live already sold. First thing this morning, it went. Hey, Karen. So just a little bit more bear grass to put in, then we get to start adding flowers. You know, when I first started, which a lot of you all don't know, I don't think you know this, I've only been designing with fresh flowers for five years. Uh, May will be six years. So when I first opened my business, I had no clue about fresh flowers at all. Um, so within that five years, I've taken what I've learned from making silk, and then I just transformed it into fresh. Um, so, so there is with the greens. They're all this all. What do you think? And then also to make it a little bit. We're going to add some some plant shine. And look how beautiful that, I mean, that's just beautiful by itself. So, 
stop. Alright. So I'm going to add a couple more. And guys, if I don't answer your, uh, your comments, I'll come back in after the live and answer them. Thanks, Ruth. Again, I'm just going to go back and add a couple more of these aspidistra leaves. So I just added these leaves. I added a couple more here in front to pull it all together. So now we're ready to add in our fresh flowers. And I'll keep turning it around to let you all see. If I had enough room, I would, I would design on that area, on that, that area, that side. Um, but there's not much room on the other side of the table where we put new counters in. There's not much room. So I'm just going to go in and add some solid ego. Hey Cheryl. Aw, oh, thanks Kim. Yeah, everybody designs different. Um, you know, I can try to mimic that arrangement. Hey, Mildred. So, you know, I've tried to mimic that arrangement and it doesn't turn out the way that the picture looks. It just does not. So I totally get what you're saying and what you're talking about. Yes, Deborah, I have, in the, in the beginning, I got flower cuts really, 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 really bad. Um, and still, I don't know if you can see, my finger still has cuts on it. Um, your finger just toughens up. And you kind of get used to it. Yes, so this is a live arrangement. This is fresh. Yes, it is. It is a fresh arrangement. And this will actually uh, go out tomorrow. Thank you, Debbie. So what I do is I actually start with a filler flower to start outlining where all my other flowers are gonna go. Hey Lisa, how are you? done with this flower. And then we're going to add the bells. And the bells will go in the back to give it height. And it's just another flower to give it some texture. All thanks. Oh no, Lisa. Kim, I am starting to book quite a few weddings. Um, and a lot of tux rentals for weddings. So, um, Also, you know, if you book your um, 
your wedding with us, then we give you a discount on um, tuxedos. Or if you rent your tuxedos, we'll give you a discount on your flowers, vice versa. So, that's what we have so far. As you can see, I've outlined the whole arrangement with the solid ego, and I've added the Bells of Ireland to bring the height up. Yeah, so some of the, some of the greens can last longer than uh, a month. It just depends of if you have it in the cooler or what. So. All right, so now we have to start with the fun stuff. We have to start adding roses, which is the fun part. Oh, thanks, Lynn. So since I started with my yellow Solidago, I'm gonna start with um, red roses first. And then I'll go back and add some yellow roses to accent those. Hey, Jan. Yes, Donna, I would agree. It's beautiful without the flowers. Just the way it is. Beautiful. Totally agree. Totally. Aw, oh, thanks, Mildred. Five years ago, I would not say that. I literally would get so frustrated... <laughs> that I was just like, I'm throwing my hands up, I'm done. But I pushed through and now I'm able to design beautiful pieces um, and beautiful tribute pieces that can comfort families in time of you know, sadness um, or you know families in times of happiness with weddings and um, anniversaries, birthdays. So it's been very rewarding. Love what I do. So blessed. All right, so if you're just wondering what I'm doing, I'm taking all the thorns off of the stem. So I'm cleaning the stem so I don't get poked. I don't want to get poked. Oh, thanks. And I'm just going to work my way all the way around with the red roses, just evenly placing them. These thorns don't want to come off. And if you've ever had a rose thorn, it hurts really bad. So I'll turn it around and let you see where we're at so far. So as you see, I started right here and then I'm gonna work my way all the way around with red roses. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so I'm gonna Finish putting in the red roses. Thanks, Julie. Oh, thanks, Jeannie. Oh, thanks, Beth. I may be coming to North Carolina. Um, to visit, um, have someone down there maybe visiting. So, oh, thanks, Kathy. I think I need one more red, but we'll get that. I'll put that in last.
when do I sleep? <laughs> uh, good question. Good question. So we put all the red roses in. I still have to put another rose right here. Oh, thanks, Beth. So there we have all the red roses. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna add some yellow roses in between these red roses. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. Put the yellow ones in. So the yellow ones, they'll start open up nice and beautiful. I'm just gonna place these yellow ones in between. Aw, oh, thanks, Grace. And guys, if you haven't liked her page, go like her page so you don't miss anything. We have a lot of new items coming in. I cannot wait. Call today. They've already shipped. So I'm so excited to get all that. And we just bought all kinds of new shelving to put all of the new stuff on. Because all of my shelves in the store are full. <laughs> they are full. So we may be expanding the store and making it bigger. We cannot do that without all of you supporting us. So we thank you all so much for your support and tuning in every live. Oops. And one thing that I, I don't like is when I'm placing my roses, I don't like them to touch. That's one thing I do not like. I don't like my roses to touch. Okay. Oh, someone's calling. It'll just have to ring. We'll just put him back here. We don't want him to go to waste. All right. So now we've added all of our yellow roses. So it's starting to come together. It's starting to take shape. Thanks for the hearts, guys. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna break all this up with some white high paracum berries. So I'm gonna go in and add all these beautiful berries in between the roses. Thank you all, thanks. So I'm just gonna go in and add the white berries now. Thanks, Gertrude. I 
And I will tell you that funeral pieces is probably my favorite pieces to make. Just because I feel like that these pieces, excuse me, my, these pieces um, are going to help a family that's um, grieving. And if I can create something with my God-given talent to bring comfort, then that just makes my heart just explode with happiness that I'm able to give comfort through my ability to arrange flowers for a family. Um, just gonna turn my knife around. I'm gonna grab a couple more berries, guys, out of the cooler. I'm gonna turn it around for you so you can see it. I'm gonna grab a couple more white berries and I'll be right back. I'll turn that around for you to see. And I throw all of my, um, as I cut my stems, I just throw it all on the floor. And then pick up after I'm done. I seem to be able to work faster that way. And if you would, guys, please share this video so other people can see it. I greatly appreciate it. So there we've added the berries. So we just added those berries all throughout to try to break up the, the roses. And then now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add a little bit of this genestra to continue that movement throughout the whole piece. And genestra is one of those flowers that it doesn't take a lot to make a statement. As you can see, it's very airy. You can cut this down and get multiple pieces out of it. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit. I think I need to get new cutters, these are laying out. So now I'm just going to go back in and add some of this genestra. And this really will bring this to life. More than it already is. Oh, uh, thanks, Teresa. So again, we're just going to add a little bit, a little bit of this all throughout the arrangement. And you don't want a lot because you don't want to overpower everything that you just created. Yeah, I'm just going to cut this down. more 
piece. And then this piece will be done. Oh, actually, I may need some tall, a taller piece to go in the back. But I am going to add this to the back a little bit because I don't know where this will be sitting. So we're just going to add a little bit around the back of it. this genestra, once it becomes room temperature, the aroma from it is just absolutely phenomenal. It has a beautiful smell. Okay. I think we're done. So I think we're done. The only thing I have to do is just finish the back off. And I'll do that while you look at this side, and then I'll show you what I was meaning of finishing the back off with greenery. All of that foam that was in the back, we don't want any of that showing. We want to cover all of our mechanics. So I'm just going to add greenery to the back. Thanks, Thelma. So I'm just finishing the back off with greenery so you can't see any of my mechanics or any of the tape. So we don't want any of that to be seen. Again, I pay attention to every detail as possible creating a piece because that really speaks volume when you you know pay attention to all the detail thanks Cheryl Back is complete. All right, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when you turn this around. Hey, Tiffany, how are you tonight? So, if you see right here, I've covered all of my mechanics, so that way you cannot see any of the tape, anything. It's all covered. And we have a finished product that can go out, to, out tomorrow morning. And what I like to do is I like to spray all of my flowers. Hey, Missy. So I like to spray all of my flowers. Oh, it's okay. You're not late. So we're creating a fresh arrangement for tomorrow morning. So I'm just misting these flowers with the solution to seal in all of the, um, the petals so they don't lose uh, moisture. That they'll stay beautiful um, and open up really nicely. So, so this will go out in the morning and hopefully you've enjoyed as I make as I made this tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, we will do yes. There is a there is something that goes in the middle of this. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. This is a sympathy piece. Um, hey, David. 
but I just wanted to come on and make this uh, for you guys um, to let you see some of, um, of what we do here at the shop. Um, again, sympathy pieces are our top priority here at the shop. Um, it's probably my favorite things to make just because when I'm able to create something that is beautiful for a family and that brings comfort, then my job is done. Um, so this is a sympathy piece, unfortunately. Um, so. Did you get the roses from us? I've just seen that comment go by. So. Hey Sandy, how are you? If for some reason, if you ordered those flowers from us, send me a message. So, anyway guys, I'm gonna jump off here and head home because I gotta be back here early in the morning. And thank you all so much for joining us. And we will see you all soon. I'll be back on tomorrow with the live. I probably will have a big shipment of new stuff coming. So, anyway guys, we will see you all soon. Bye. Have a good night.